I saw Dr. Umar is out here giving his opinion on the Diddy case as to which federal crimes Diddy has actually committed. Diddy has been denied bail and is now locked up and while he is being made out to look like a monster, some people still can't seem to figure out what serious crimes he has committed. Let's check it out. Sean Puffy Combs' federal charges have little if anything to do with domestic abuse or pedophilia. His major sex crime federally is he's being accused of transporting women across state lines to engage in sex. What we call prostitution. Not Casey, not the freak offs, not underage girls, but prostitution. Why am I bringing this up? Because I don't support prostitution either. I do not support men paying for the sugar box. I do not support black women having to sexually exploit their sugar box in order to pay their bills. With that being said, prostitution is the oldest female business on the planet Earth. Prostitution is the oldest female business on the planet Earth. Prostitution is the oldest female business on the planet Earth. It is the sexual trafficking that Sean Puffy Combs is being accused of. Not domestic abuse, not freak offs, not stomping out Cassie, not engaging in sex with underage women. It is interstate sexual trafficking. That is the charge. Why am I bringing this up? I'm bringing this up. Peace, God. Because when I listen to the news, they're not talking about the evidence against Sean Puffy Combs. When I listen to the news, they're not talking about the evidence of Sean Puffy Combs. When I listen to the news, I have yet to hear anybody give me a specific piece of interstate sex trafficking evidence against Sean Puffy Combs. I'm going to say it again. I'm going to say it for the low political IQ Negroes. I'm going to say it for the average political IQ Negroes. And I'm going to say it for the high IQ Negroes. I haven't seen or heard a single piece of evidence against Sean Puffy Gomes. I ain't read it in the New York Times. I ain't read it in the Philadelphia Inquirer. I ain't heard it on CNN. I ain't seen it on headline news. Where is the evidence that Sean Puffy Combs engaged in interstate sex trafficking. I keep hearing about Cassie when I turn on the news. Why are we hearing about Cassie when Cassie has nothing to do with the federal indictment? I don't think any black man should have a thousand bottles of baby oil. I don't think any black man needs a thousand bottles of baby oil. But I haven't seen anywhere in federal law where owning a thousand bottles of baby oil is a federal crime. Brothers and sisters, are you with me so far? Brothers and sisters, are you with me so far? Do you understand, overstand and understand what the most requested black scholar in the world is saying right now? Do you understand and overstand and understand what the most requested black scholar in the world is saying right now? Do you understand, overstand, and understand what the premier Pan-Africanist on the planet is saying to you right now? Baby oil is not a federal crime. Stomping out Cassie, he was not charged with a crime. The freak-offs are not crimes. So why do we keep hearing about Cassie? Why do we keep hearing about baby oil? Why do we keep hearing about freak-offs? Where are the federal charges and why are the charges being sealed? Why did the feds seal the charges against Sean Puffy Combs? I'm going to tell you one reason why the feds sealed the charges against Sean Puffy Combs. One of the biggest reasons they sealed the charges against Sean Puffy Combs is because the evidence is probably weak. The evidence is probably weak. And because the evidence is probably weak that he is guilty of interstate sex trafficking 
And because the evidence is probably weak that he is guilty of interstate sex trafficking, they had to seal the charges. They had to hide the charges from you and I. They had to hide the charges from you and I long enough for the public execution to be carried out. If you have stayed with me to this point of the video, consider subscribing, hit the like button, and leave a comment below. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.